All right, so the plan for today is I'm gonna strip these engines down, take the harnesses off, take the intakes off, clean them up quite oily. Try to run one of them. I'm gonna try to turn that one on. But the other engine, I think I'm gonna try to stuff it in here. I mean, the harness is all complete in here, except it was cut going backwards. So I gotta get the rear, the harness that goes to the rear tail lights and stuff. So this has the radiator in it still, which is nice, but it didn't have the uh, uh, fan shroud because I'm gonna try to use that. Um, so I got, I took this off of an 87 pickup, but I got this one. Uh, Cause this is the, the four headlight style. This, I mean, I said it's an 87. Um, so that, that's pretty cool. This is the one I would prefer to have. And it has the, you can see the um, trans cooler still there. This, I believe, is for the radiator, or the AC, which I'm gonna ditch. Get rid of all that stuff. I just don't like the look of this one. Plus, I, I, I'm not a huge fan of the, I'd rather have the um, factory grill than this Phantom grill or whatever they're called. So yeah, looking forward to changing all this stuff over. Um, the cab's not bolted down, so. I mean, you can see the gap right well i can see the gap right here is weird but it's not centered on the chassis i'm waiting for the cab bolts to get here um i'm gonna pull this seat out i mean i'm 6'3 this seat's being so far forward it's not gonna work for me so that kind of sucks but i'm gonna i got a blue seat that i'm gonna put in here a factory one so it, it should be all right. Let me get to the other side. But this is all stock chassis. Nothing seems to be messed up about it. No bends, no cuts, no breaks. Oh, bummer. It's starting to crack right there. Whatever. I'll fix that too. random just what the f oh i was washing the truck the, the other day and i saw this crack oh no, i wasn't really washing i was just rinsing it out but anyway i saw that crack and that's kind of a bummer but other than that i mean it's pretty nice in here the carpet needs to be replaced for sure but it's no real the cab's not rotted on the floor or nothing it's actually pretty nice. So I'm looking forward to putting this together, getting it running. I mean, later down the road, obviously I'm gonna change out the dash and stuff like that. That steering wheel has to go. I just noticed that. Get new door seals or whatever. But that's all later dated stuff. I just wanted to be able to go down the road right now. So. Yeah, this project is exciting to me. Oh, <laughs> later on, I'm going to have to replace, or I mean, uh, cover the hole that that thing goes in. Because how many C10s do you know that have a four-wheel drive? <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is, I'm going to put a 4L80 in here. Um, going to put a 5.3 in here. It's got a 10-bolt rear in it right now. So I'm going to build a Ford 9-inch for this eventually. Get rid of these goofy wheels. I kind of, <clears throat> I don't want to do it because these are supposed to be for my 56, but those might end up on this truck. 
just because they fit better. So yeah, definitely looking forward to getting this thing on the road.